Architectural Polymer's single-use Versabrix S liner assists in embedding thin brick into tilt-up and traditional precast concrete panels. When used properly, the overlapping connection feature allows for a versatile modular layout, enabling the user many production approaches. Architectural Polymer's environmentally friendly Versabrix S liner will save time and cost by enhancing bed space planning and use. The high-impact polystyrene material can be recycled. In 2008, Architectural Polymer's recycled 36,000 pounds of plastic. The 100% recyclable, high-impact polystyrene material is made by way of a fast thermal forming process. It's an environmentally friendly material that assists, along with thin brick usage, in lead point acquisition concerning green building systems. The slight difference in thickness from edge to edge completes a clean, seamless edge connection. When the polystyrene module is properly placed with another module, the AP logo continues through the seamless joint edge. The same methodology applies when using architectural polymers accessories such as folding corners and inset units. Because of the near exact 21 thousandths fit, architectural polymers cannot warranty more than one use of this product. The harsh conditions of concrete construction usually do not leave the Versabrix S liner intact after one use. You will need these tools when installing the Versabrix S thin brick form liner system. A utility knife for trimming single sheets, an aluminum straight edge or chalk line for aid with straight cuts a caulk gun and latex caulk tubes, a bandsaw for trimming multiple sheets, a tape measure and or chalk line for aid in checking and marking brick rules, an internally water filtered wet tile saw with a 12 inch diamond blade is recommended for cutting edge and special size thin bricks. A hot water pressure washer with at least 1,000 PSI will be required for cleaning wax laden panels. Water temperature needs to be at least 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Polystyrene's thermal properties require it to shrink and grow with temperature changes. Therefore, it's recommended to measure brick coursings as the layout continues. The brick rule for modular brick, 2 and a quarter inches by 7 and 5 eighths inches height is 3 bricks and 3 joints equals 8 inches. For length, 3 bricks and 3 joints equals 24 inches. For other brick sizes, different measuring rules apply. The Versabrix S single-use plastic is made of a thin, high-impact polystyrene and is very easily trimmed with a sharp utility knife or a bandsaw. Special care must be taken when cutting the rounded mortar joint section of the liner. A straight edge is very useful when performing this task. Use latex or silicone caulk to glue the liner in place when necessary. Factors such as weather or single courses may guide you in this decision. Consult with architectural polymers to select the proper components. Remember, it is a system. Consider a mock-up panel. Most projects require a mock-up panel example. Plan the layout first. Consider the factors, bond type, combination of patterns, weather conditions, etc. During extreme conditions, it may become necessary to attach the Versabrix S to the form work. Use the thin brick as a weight to hold the liner sheets in place. Snap chalk layout lines when necessary. Layout sheets overlapping edges is indicated by the basic instructions provided. Use the AP logo as a guide. Use a tape measure to ensure you are staying on the proper coursing measurements. Cock or glue the liner into place in specific situations. The 21,000th thickness of a liner allows it to stretch or squeeze to the proper brick coursing measurement. Two-sided tape, cock adhesive, or nailing can be useful options to accomplish this. A framework of rustication strips may also hold the liner from moving beyond the desired boundaries. For efficient brick placement, use configurations such as stepping areas that allow you to walk on the liner system. Be sure to order more than enough brick to complete the project. Ordering enough brick is essential to guarding against unnecessary delays. In most cases, architectural polymers can maintain your order of brick, providing the full package of product and customer service. Make sure the brick is placed on its correct side. Do not place the keyed back side of the brick facing down in the liner system. Glue the thin brick in the form liner brick pocket with latex caulk if desired. Architectural polymers folding corners have been designed as modular units to be used with the entire system. A typical method for adhering corner bricks into a vertical position is with silicone or latex caulk. Nailing back a rod with aluminum nails in the mortar joints to keep the corner bricks in place also works adequate for the vertical placement of concrete. It's important to use aluminum nails. Using steel nails will leave exterior rust spotting on the finished concrete surface. Occasionally, a situation may occur where brick coursing may be abruptly stopped. In such a case, the brick will have to be trimmed along with the liner. 
The brick can be easily cut with a water-cooled masonry saw once the size is determined. The VersaBrick's S end round unit is used to finish such an ending brick course with a perimeter mortar joint. Use care to pour the concrete on thin brick-formed areas. Keep the stream of concrete directed at areas that have already been covered. Use a rake whenever possible to pull the concrete over uncovered brick areas. Avoid quick shoot movements or uncontrolled large volume displacements directly on thin brick areas. Vibrate with a pencil vibrator. Be sure not to allow the vibration head to exceed three inches below the surface of the concrete. Drag the vibrator head in one foot spaced grids throughout the panel perimeter. Failure to do so may result in excess cleanup and or tilted brick. Immediately remove the forming sheets after stripping and standing the concrete panels. As an environmentally aware company, Architectural Polymers encourages all of our customers to recycle the used polystyrene sheets. They're easily removed by hand and or pressure washing. Most thin brick can be supplied with a factory coated wax. The wax can be removed with a hot water wash. Latent concrete will also wash off with the wax. Wax should be removed as quickly as possible after the removal from the form. Use a 1000 PSI pressure washer to clean the wax and concrete leakage off of the panel. The water temperature should be 200 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Start at the top of the panel and work down. A 30 to 45 degree fan tip is recommended. Architectural Polymers is Tilt Up's number one thin brick liner source. Custom applications and odd size masonry inlay patterns are also available as well as cast in place form liner solutions, precast form liner solutions and other supporting products.